Okay. Now that they are dealt with, we can explore this area just a little bit more. Dina, are you okay? Dina, you need me to give you a hand? There's one right there. You can have it for yourself if you want. Don't forget to pay your parking. Alright, let's see if there's any items lying around here. No. Just don't have that happen again. I don't need a hint! I haven't even started exploring yet. Calm down, game. Keep your britches on. Damn, these reflections are really damn impressive. Some of the best I've ever seen. Alright. How are we even getting out of here? Teeny, you wanna shoot some stuff and blow it up? Cause that's kinda what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, this is where we're getting the fuel. And please, 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 please. We got gasoline. Our luck's changing. Don't you jinx us. That's all you needed? <sighs> the fuck Vedrigate is calling to us. It sure is. How do we get out of here? Oh. I don't know, my feet are cold. This should work. Ah, good old chain like Last of Us 1. Come on, Dina. Let's try scooching. Come on. Classic. Classic hidden loading screen. Okay, let go. Good job, babe. Thanks. Babe? Oh, cute. You guys. <laughs> okay. Gate. Um, have I done all of the... All of the stuff so far? Because I really don't... I feel like we're about to leave this area. Maybe I'll go... We're going through the fuck Fedra gate to get to that WLF. So maybe I should go bottom left, Cherry Street and James Street, just to check. I don't know how much I can actually get down there though. It was right next to the bank. Rustin Coffee. I'm telling you, unless there's a top of the morning coffee logo somewhere, I don't care. Onward, Ireland! Come on! What are you doing back there? Getting homesick? A little bit. You? Uh, same. Just having a roof over my head. You know, I've always dreamed of fixing up a farm just outside of Jackson. Why wouldn't you stay in town? I don't know. I like the idea of real space. Sounds lonely. Only if you're doing it alone. Okay. That's so true. So are we gonna, like, raise sheep and milk cows? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no. Yes. It actually sounds kind of nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really. Oh, we're marking something. I really like the, the facial animations in these scenes, like the in-betweeny bits. Because a lot of games have really great facial animation during the cutscenes, but it's in the gameplay elements that it all kind of falls apart, like the lip-syncing is way off, and characters don't- they don't really emote with their faces. Um... Okay. I mean, this looked important, but... Not like crazy important. Do I have to go out through this? I don't need a brick! Ah! I'm Ellie! I almost messed that up. Oh. Ellie, Nathan Brake would be happy. Made it. Damn, lots of supplies. Lots and lots and lots. Hell yeah. Dude, there's so much. Hello. More collectible cards. Hell yeah. Dr. Uckman. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Neil Druckmann! <laughs> he actually put himself in the game. This is the guy who uh, wrote the game and directed the game. Uh, same with Last of Us 1, Uncharted 4, Uncharted 2. Um, I'm a huge fan of him as well, and he followed me on Twitter and I DM'd him a little bit about the game, and he's just- he's- he was very, very nice. Um, <laughs> Dr. Uckman. His name is Neil Druckmann, so it's D.R. Uckman. <laughs> 
Affiliation, the new dogs. Once a well-respected researcher, Dr. Uckman's questionable experiments in the realm of pushing human limits saw him ostracized from the scientific community. Even the morally compromised Laurent Foucault... I have no idea how to pronounce that name, so... Of Spark Laboratories found his work dubious. Undeterred, Uckman continued his work in secret, creating super AI to do his bidding and protect his research while he and the new dogs... Naughty dog... Stage high-tech heists to fund it all. Constantly moving his lab locations so no one can find him, he longs for the day where his subjects will be treated as equals. There's a... Get this gas back to the Fethedra gate? Yeah. Yes, Dina. Calm down. Um, there's a lot to unpack in there. And he... It's interesting that you put yourself more on the villain side. Neil, is that how you see yourself? Also, Dina, how did I hear you from all the way up here? Oh, you hungry? Yeah, me too. Could really go for a bit of steak. Okay, I think that's Whee! everything here. Jesus Christ, man. Is it? I'm sorry. I know. I keep repeating myself. And I haven't uploaded any of these episodes yet. And I know the comments are going to be like, Jack, just stop talking and play the game. But you're here to watch me play the game and experience it. So I'm going to give you my honest thoughts. And I every time I like look up. Stuff just looks as impressive every time. It looks so realistic. Because the thing about photorealism is that most games are going for a movie look. Because real life is boring looking. A real life has boring lighting. Because light just hits things and it kind of just bounces around a little bit, but it's not stylized. And a lot of movies have stylized lighting because they they place lights in specific places. It has lens flares, it has pop, and this game has some of that, but if you want things to actually look real, it has to be this kind of like just white light hitting everything and kind of wrapping around the buildings and stuff, and that's what this does really well. And a lot of games don't do that because it just doesn't look nice a lot of times, because it can end up looking bland. But this really works. Uh, I'm going this way anyway, but I forgot that I can't actually go through any of that. I'm not taking my horse, because I like running around in it. It's so cool. It's like we have an open world Last of Us game now, almost. Also, that building looks like a PlayStation 3. The fat PlayStation 3. The original. PH fat. Wow, that was an adventure. Sure was. Haven't found any of them yet. Hey, it's a big city. Yeah. We barely started looking. Yeah, I know. Just thought we'd see one of them by now. It's so cool. Uh, we need our horsey. Come on, Ireland! Come on, Ireland! Up over that! No! Come on! Up, up, boy! Huh? Sorry, my Irish kicks in there for a second. We can't actually move until Dina gets on. So I can't, like, walk closer to her or anything. God, nature... Nature really was like, fuck y'all buildings. I'm gonna take this bitch over. hey -ya! All right. It's been ages since I was here. Where was the thing? Here. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Really breaks up the pacing and kind of gives you a break. And you can really get back into the story if you want to. Or you can take your time, which I imagine a lot of people would, and go just explore the place. Here we go. Saravina in the background. All right. I got it. You put in the code. Right. <laughs> the code. Hey, these old generators are. Pretty finicky. So might take you a few tries of to... Oh. Sorry, go on. <laughs> Nothing. We get it. You're better than us at this. The game makes me do inputs, okay? I don't have AI. <laughs> I don't have intelligence. Uh, we need the gate codes. Um wait, am I at the north gate? 1382? Let's just try it. I'm confident. I'm a confident man. Uh, 
Uh, not that confident. Where even am I? Oh, east gate. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what was the east gate then? <laughs> Me and my damn hubris. East is 5345. <laughs> like... Waiting for us. This kind of reminds me of in Half Life Alex when you're getting to the North Star Hotel. It's like follow the North Star and you kind of have it in the distance. Yeah, I really feel like someone would be ready to snipe here, especially hearing horse hooves. And I instinctively slowed down my horse just in case. Damn, what a fucking stronghold. Wolf. WLF. I get it. That's what I was oh, saying. Yeah. That makes sense. Fuck those guys. They killed Joel. We're not allowing this. We're not taking too kindly to their kind around here. And by their kind, I mean murderers. Well, I'm a bit of a murderer as well. Pot, kettle, black, all of that. I am on a revenge story, so who am I to talk? Seravina Hotel. What a nice plaque. What a nice shine that's coming off of that. I don't think there's anything here to get. Whoa. Whoa! Hello? Wait, can I jump over that fence? Gotta get him! Gotta get him! Get him! Oh, it's a- Oh! I thought it was one of theirs! Whoops! My bad! Well, everyone's gonna know we're here now! Get him, Dina! Get him, Dina! It's okay. I have a machete! This is way faster! Nice! All right. Okay. That's that. I think that worked pretty well. Um, they'll never know that we're here now. Did you guys drop anything? No. I kind of- is it weird that I want to like, hit one of the zombies with my machete and watch like their arm fall off? Guys, I think I might be fucked up. I think video games might have made me violent. The fucking news was right. I thought- I legitimately thought that that was one of the WLF and he was injured and he was like coming back. That's why I sprinted at him. I wanted to get information out of him. But honestly, that works out better for me rather than having to stealth through here. And I like that that's kind of an option that you can do both. Whoa. First game also had a hotel section. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. Nice, nice, nice. How many of them do I have now? Oh yeah, I got more supplements as well. Um, I have 132. Oh, I didn't go back and upgrade. Shit. I'm sure I'll get my moment. I have 38 of these. Craft upgrade for your melee weapon, restoring it to full durability and greatly increasing his damage. Yes. Because I have this machete now, and I... I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to fuck shit up with that for a while. Um, I can make one more Molotov. Ooh, that's how I do it. Interesting. And I'll make a uh, health kit. Nice. I'm not gonna heal myself yet because I feel like I'm gonna find like a candy bar or something somewhere. This is a nice hotel and trust me, I literally have a degree in hotel management. I know these things. No, oh, Jim. Ugh. This one's fresh. Ew. And he's got one of those wolf patches. Sure does. Guess they didn't make it out with their gas after all. That's good, right? If those fuckers who killed Joel got taken out by some random infected, then they'd still be dead. And I'm not sure that's justice. 
Might as well Ooh. grab what we can while we're here. Don't lose yourself to revenge. Don't lose yourself to hatred. It was a very good lesson in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with Scar. He's one of my favorite characters in that because he... He goes through this and he learns and he teaches from it. You shouldn't... I mean, you shouldn't... Uh, <laughs> Wish death upon anybody, even those who inflicted the worst sort of hatreds upon you. Because then you kind of just become... What they are? Or maybe that's, obviously that's the message that the game is trying to go for and we'll see where it actually goes with it. But... You shouldn't lose yourself to the revenge. Shit happens to you in your life. I mean, I can't relate to somebody coming in and killing a father figure of mine right in front of me. Um, but shit happens in your life and you kind of have to just think about it objectively and realize that some things are kind of just out of your control. Get that pipe! Oh, should I swap to this? I only have three hits left in my machete, but it's really damn good. It really takes them out quickly. They're not here, are they? That's why the town is so quiet. Nice shot. You recognize him? No. Maybe someone else killed these guys. The infected just wandered in. I- I forget already. Jeez, I got so tunnel visioned when I thought Joel was going to be hurt, for fucking right reasons, that I just ran into that building that- what happened to Dina? Did she just get held back by the storm? Because Dina wasn't there when all of this was happening. God, they can still see Ellie's face telling them to stop. And it was so realistic, like, her expression. Ugh. I don't like it, it's gonna make me cry again. Alright, let's take our time. Too often I plow through these games and then I regret it afterwards. Hey, found their gas. Well, if we need any more, we know where to get it. Yeah, this is a lot. Well, if those things are full, that is. I'm also glad they got rid of the flashlight running out. Wasn't it the first game with the flashlight run out and you had to shake your controller to turn it back on? I'm glad that's gone. It's unneeded. Pulled you out of it. It's like, just leave the flashlight on, it's fine. This really reminds me of the hotel from the first game. I don't recognize this one either. God, look at this lighting. Holy fuck. Ooh. 18 supplements. That's great. I have 36 now. Oh, so close to the next one. Oh, listen mode. Upgrade. Yes. That's going to come in real handy. I should have probably gotten that first, but I kind of want to get the stuff to fix my machete. My machete! There's so many coffee machines and coffee french presses and stuff all over the place in this game. Naughty Dog! Y'all motherfuckers love coffee as much as I do? You guys want some beans? I will literally send you some top of the morning beans. Since Sony sent me the game early, which I'm very, very thankful for, by the way. I never said that. What do we get? Know-it-all trading card. Okay. Brains a hundred plus. Must be nice. <laughs> uh, Sheila Kim. A world-famous researcher diagnosed with an early form of dementia. Sheila Kim er, reached out to Spark in desperation. Could they do something to slow her mental decline? They agreed to implant an experimental nano AI drive in her brain. Holy crap. Allowing her to not only retain her knowledge, but accrue new information at a massive rate. 
Now, she's arguably the smartest person alive and Spark's new chief technology officer, overseeing their military research arm. Some argue that she's lost her conscience. Others wonder whether the AI has taken over her mind. Neutral villain. Cool. Uh, Naughty Dog, can we... Well, I was gonna say, can we have this game, and as much as you guys would make a great superhero game, I don't think we need more superhero stuff right now. Let it let it sit and breathe for a while. Um, but seriously, I would absolutely love like a seriously toned, gritty sci-fi space time travel-y kind of game from Naughty Dog. I think they would do massive justice to a scenario like that. Imagine being in space with Naughty Dog's visual fidelity and their pacing and their their characters and their story and all that. Whoa. Shit. Are you alive? What the fuck happened here? Tommy did this. This? Oh. No way. That was definitely him. He's one of the ones that killed Joel. Shit. There's another one over here. using them against each other. How? Joel told me about this. You ask this guy a question, but you don't make him say it. You make him write it down. And then you ask this guy, and if the facts match, you're telling the truth. If not, you fuck him up. Yeah, Joel did that in the first game, when Ellie went missing, and they took her. East one. Another gate code? Looks like it. This just happened, though. He can't be far off. Man, these transitions from cutscene to game every time. Come on. We can get out this way. Maybe catch up with Tommy. Yeah. Damn, Tommy. There's coffee everywhere! I mean, it is a hotel. Um, but it makes my coffee love and heart happy. Oh, I thought this was stuff. Da yeah, Joel did the thing where he, like, I, and I absolutely love that scene when Ellie's gone missing and then you get to see Joel as Joel without her and realize that he's been holding back all this time and he gets really sadistic. Well, I, I don't know if sadistic is the right word, but he gets really serious and just focuses up and like sticks the knife in the dude's knee and he's like, I'm gonna pop it off. Um, and you just see how scary Joel can be when he's on his own and how ruthless he can be. I love that scene because it adds so much depth to his character. So it's cool to see that Tommy and him are kind of similar in that fashion. Ooh. Me want hammer, but I also want to fix up this. Uh, let's make some more stun bombs. I don't use these for anything else yet. Okay, that's making me nervous hearing that sizzle. <laughs> Don't take that out yet. It'll blow up in your hand and take your eyebrows. I love that wobble before they fall off. <laughs> I know you said Tommy had a rough past, but fuck. I know. Are you okay? It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie. 
If I had my sister's killers tied to a chair, I'd do worse. I hear you. Damn. I really like Dina. I think she's a great character. She's a good... Uh, counterpoint to Ellie. Well, not so much counterpoint, but a good, like, accomplice with Ellie. They have a great dynamic. Oh, it's definitely Seattle. It's raining now. Jesus. Those clouds came in fast. Um, so your sister's dead? Oh, that's sad. She was talking so highly of her sister earlier. Uh, we won't get in the horse yet, because I'm just gonna have to go over here and get off it again. Did I say it in the last episode that it would be cool if it started raining here because it would look great? Because I was thinking it, and I don't think I ever actually said it. Um, and now it's raining, and I'm happy. As much as my Irish-isms kick in and I complain about rain a lot, I actually really like the rain. I think it's cozy and it adds a, a cool atmosphere to the world. Hiya! 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 See that, Dina? First try. Got it. And I got this. That's nice. I like that as well. Where does this take us? I like that the AI character takes the code, because that is something that would happen in real life. I wouldn't just have to put in the code every single time. So it's nice. It doesn't bog the game down with just like, hey, remember this code. Shelter and we set up camp. Maybe somewhere high up so we can scope out the area. I like that idea. Great idea. Okay. Let's look for an open building. Preferably with no infected. Or WLF. Wolves. Whatever. I still have some of those almond things left if you're hungry. Eh, not really. You should eat something. Oh my god. What? I sounded like my mom just now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. So much dense vegetation going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy fuck! Ireland! Get the other! Don't Dina! Leave. Go! Dina! <laughs> no! You mother fuckers! Oh! God fucking damn it, that scared the shit out of me! This game's gonna give me a heart attack. Didn't think I'd ever see you again. He was there, wasn't he? How'd you find us? I asked about a dude with a bitch scar across his face. Mm. It's funny. How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. Jordan! He's the guy that I sliced, supposed right? supposed to be out looking for the other one. The fuck is this? You know, the smuggler that we killed out in Jackson? Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. We gotta get her to Isaac, and we gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. It's direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she I, knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush. I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them and we will kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second the right fuck now? Out of Can my you? Way. Tommy? Dina! Dina! Oh, God, no. Don't take Dina as well. Don't you fucking do this to me. Am I able to get out of this? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ugh, it's so fucking tense, I hate it. Grab, it. grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh fuck, oh, I am going to end you. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so gross. Are you okay? Mostly. Ellie. Ellie. We should go. Oh my god. So I heard the gunshots. Look. She's one of them. Come on. Look at that leader. Was there a TV station on that map? I don't fucking know. Come on. Fuck, Ellie. I mean, I know I said that I wanted to to get him, but Jesus Christ, that was brutal. Go around. Oh, this music is fucking great. Oh god, that's a nasty way to kill someone. There you go. I'm not wasting bullets. They're hard to come by. Let's go. Fuck, dude. How many guys did you see? Enough. We got to get the hell out of here. Okay, let me look for supplies. Jesus. This game is fucking ruthless. I mean, obviously the first game is as well, but Everything just looks so much more real in this one. Like seeing the facial expressions contort and the muscles like flex and ugh. Oh, this is a fucking shooting corridor for sure. It was this way. Move up. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. Thank God they didn't Over see you, Dina. Where are you going? Where are you going, huh? Huh? Ah! God! Oh, fuck! Ow! Jesus Christ, it scared me! God, my aim with a controller is awful. Peek! Peek! Ow! Jesus Christ! Okay, you need- You need to fucking- There we go. Oh, did I shoot her arm off? Oh, God! <laughs> I don't want to be hearing this, man! Hello? Oh! Fucking melted! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God damn, Dina! Yeah! Oh, there's more. Are they behind me? I don't know where anybody is. I'm so confused. I'm so Okay, there you are. Oh, God. I apologize for my terrible aim. I'm wasting so many bullets. Oh, God, the vacant Good? expressions on their yeah. faces. You recognize any of these guys? No. Oh, this game is brutal! Yeah, I blew their arm off. I mean, that's what this game is all about. It's vicious. God, to see it so up close and so in detail is ugh. It's nasty. Can I fix this yet? Fuck. I should have used stun bombs. I keep forgetting that I have them. All right, I want to explore and get items, because I I wasted a lot of bullets just now. Whew! This game gets tense. I I do much better in the stealth scenarios. Give me a mouse and keyboard, and I'll be clicking heads. But I guess that's the thrill of it, right? That. You kind of sway and you miss and not everything is perfectly accurate and you're not going to be able to kill people stone dead with every single shot. It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you moving. Can you guys have bullets though? Wait, I... I absolutely fucked this dude up with a single shot. Did I blow his head off? Oh my god. Oh no, I... Yeah, the back of his head is all open. Ew. Why did I go to look at that?
Yeah, lots of bottles around. I need to remember to do that as well. I'm still kind of playing it too much like the first game. There's a lot of bottles to throw at them and then follow up with a, a stab. Oh, grassy grass. Okay, okay, okay. Enemies can spite you in the grass as they get closer. Oh, that's fun. So I remember playing Uncharted 4 and the enemies just couldn't see you no matter how close they were to you. And it was... felt a little silly. Okay, one peeled off in his own to the right. Oh, you are mine. You are mine! I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Being stabbed is one of my biggest phobias and fears. Because it's just... it's one of the most gruesome ways of dealing with someone. Because you have to get so close and personal and... Ugh, whatever, I'm not talking about it. It's gross. Anytime I see somebody get stabbed in a movie, I just... I cringe at it because it's... Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. Nice and easy. That person's over there. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm not 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 gonna be fine for long. Oh. My eyes are watering because I'm fucking sweating. This is stupid! No! Oh! 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 I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Where's the other person? Oh, they're way back there. Jesus. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. This is fucking great, though. Oh, oh, oh. Might be someone here. Oh god. I'll go see what's up. Oh shit. I'm so glad that the AI is not able to see me that clearly. Fuck. Guy right there. Oh my god. Nice. Nice. Oh god, that's fucking gross. I have no bullets in that. What's my what's my revolver at? One shot as well. All right. Push it. We're gonna have to do some Molotovs. Where's the other one? Hey, Shit, I could have followed up. That fire effect is really damn impressive. You better start running. No, you better start. Shutting up! Oh fuck! There's a lot of them. I told you. No one likes to told you so, Dina. Okay, dealt with. It was a little messy, but we did it. I'll take messy over dead. Fuck yeah, I should be able to upgrade now. Ooh, nice, nice. That's a lot of items I could have missed. Oh! <laughs> my, my tensions are so high, the adrenaline is pumping. So fun. It's so atmospheric too. I love being in rainy situations, even in real life and kind of hiding under tree canopies and hearing the rain pitter-patter around you. Uh, okay, let's, um, let's craft another one of these. I have plenty of medkits. Okay, I just need a scissors, I guess, for that. Um, yes, movement speed for listen mode. Perfect. And then, otherwise lethal damage will instead leave you at low health, giving you an opportunity to escape. That's a good one. That's really helpful. Crafting speed, stun bomb, smoke bomb. Stun bomb, smoke bombs will be good too. 
No, don't take that out. Again, you make me paranoid when you do that. Whew. The combat's so much more improved over the first game as well. It's so... It's very fluid. It keeps moving. It's very high tension and high speed. When it, when it kicks up, I mean. Have a look here. Hold on, Dina. Shit, shit, shit. Ellie, get down. Okay, yeah, good point. Yep, 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 yep. Were those items? I thought that you were going to tell me to, like, look out over... Yeah, those are items. Okay, I need those. Oh, shit! What? Oh, dude! This is cool! I'll check over here. Dude, I can hit you in the ankles with a bottle. She's not on the street. Did you look? How would she get down there? I don't know. God, I have no idea where you guys are going. We went out to Capitol Hill. We should be back with those guys any minute now. Okay, surely one of you I can take. Okay, okay, get up and get down again. Oh my God, that's so cool that you can prone under these. See anything down there? Okay, Dina, it would be great if you stayed prone. Nope, nope, nope. I don't even know which one of you spotted me. Okay, if I can get one, I have a Molotov and a bottle for the others. No, get up, get up. God, so nasty! Ellie's fucking ruthless. Okay, where are the others? Out of range of my hearing. I can't see you with my ears right now. Also, I think the rain might dampen it. I'm not sure if that's even a, a factor. Wait, where the fuck did they go? Did they leave this area? Someone killed Kevin. Oh god, not Kevin! Yeah, they went back down to that other area. I think. I'll get my bottle ready just in case. Fuck these wolves. Steal their shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, duh. I need it way more than they do. Uh, make sure I'm all reloaded. Did they get any more for this? No. Okay, cool. Damn, that's so awesome that you're able to prone under these things. And I mean, it's so obvious now, but... Being right down at their ankle level and seeing them walk around around you. Why would you not think to look under that? <laughs> um, where is my way forward? Because I might not actually have to fight those guys and waste my bullets. I doubt that I can jump down there. Oh, there's one. They're back. But again, if I can just leave without having to fight them... Save myself some ammo. Damn, you guys have a ton of stuff! Hoarders! Stinkies! Isaac's mandate. Oh yeah, I didn't read Leah's stuff. From here on out, kill all trespassers. We'll send additional units to locate the other woman. Return to the fob by EOD. Bring all available supplies. Okay, hold on. I think they might be able to just walk in here, actually. Dead. Can I close the door? I can't close the door. Close it, Ellie, and be rid of them. I want to see Leah's photograph and read the note, though. Okay. 
Okay. The Lewd. Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two week uh, at the TV station. Scar spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. Over Scars? Scars. Alright, let's push on. Not dealing with those people. You're not worth me bottles! I still can't upgrade that. Right, cool. Locked! Oh, maybe I do have to fight them. Alright. What about this? Never mind! Dina, you're a legend. Let's get out of here, Dina. Whew. Hands are all sweaty. Come on, inside. Oh, dogs. Come on. Whew. All right, can I breathe for a second? Oh, man, this game like just twists your nipples and keeps them clamped. Oh, why do I have a feeling it's not over though? Got it. Oh, a little cat tower. Looks exactly like the one we have for BB. <laughs> Dude, quad monitors? Even I don't have that. I have three monitors and I feel like that that's kind of overkill. Damn. Yes, scared. Cardio trading card. Ah, oh, the superhero's name is Cardio. Brain 60, brawn 60. Pedro Rojas was a long distance runner who dreamed of winning. But always came up short when Spark offered him limitless stamina in exchange for using him as a test subject for their new Velocitanium? Artificial hearts? Velocitanium, what a great word. Uh, he immediately accepted the deal and then escaped going into hiding. Now known as Cardio, he can run faster and farther than anyone alive. Pursued by Spark, they still want him back to finish their experiments. They'll just have to catch him first. Damn, these are great. I like this. It's like a world within a world. Ooh, what's this a certificate for? Can't zoom in. Brian Scott. Maybe that's where you have quad monitors. Maybe you're like a a computer engineer or something. Okay, cool. I think Dina's like, why do you keep going through everyone's drawers? What's wrong with you? Are you a hoarder? Fat PS3 we again! The street. Nice uh, AV receiver as well. Shitty speakers though. Do you have surround? I don't know. Maybe you have them under your couch. Like a dumb. They're not going to do anything there. Where's your subwoofer? That you could probably put under your couch. Really feel it as you're watching. Dang, someone's just hiding bullets. Yes! Is that enough to upgrade? Wait, oh, I need... We need four? What? I don't get how that works. I feel like I'm picking up pieces of blades, but it's not letting me fix it. Fix it, Felix. Oh shit, is this forward? I don't want to go forward. All right, coast looks clear. Yeah. I think we're good. All right, check this out. She's one of them. Mm. 
Well, fuck her then. <laughs> Read the letter. Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two-week at the TV station. Scars spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. TV station. You think she's still there? I gotta find out, right? So, let's buy all these tall buildings. That way. Okay. Let's go get Leah. This is interesting, because I wonder if Dina will at some point turn and be like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. This is too much. But Abby and them wanted to get Joel like this. And they succeeded. But aren't we just kind of doing the same thing now? Aren't we just as revenge driven? Who knows, maybe something will change later on. What does that sound? Oh, that I can just craft something? Oh. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. That is good. Wasn't there a thing back here? Oh, it's just a window. Can I... Can't jump out through it. it. Really looks like you can jump out through it, but... I don't need to go that way. <laughs> Ellie's been drinking! Oh, yeah! Dina, you want some burgers? Dina! She never wants to grill with me. You good? Yeah. I thought I was fucked back there. <sighs> Thanks for the save, by the way. Of course. Yeah, that got scary. So, those are the wolves. They're really armed. Yeah, they are. Do you think there were going to be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. Does that change anything for you? No. Halloween, Deval. Keep an eye out for patrols. There were a bunch trying to smoke me out around here. How many? I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. Mm. And once they realize we're out of the school, and that we killed their fucking friends. They'll be out in force looking for us. Yup, 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 yup. I can't believe they just attacked like that. These people are not like us. What if we'd been refugees? What if we, I don't know, had intel they needed? It doesn't seem like they care about that. Yeah. Damn, what a grimy pool. You want to go in? Get a venereal disease? God, look at those reflections. Jesus. Dina, come on in! The water's fucking gross! I'm gonna smell like a bag of shit for weeks! Do you like that? Not that hot? <laughs> you still wanna kiss me? Uh, oops. Oh, Dina. Oh no, I fell in again. Now I'm all covered in it. Dina, give me a hug! Gross, 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 gross. Dina! Oh, she wants to stay away from me. Dina, get in. Get into the water. <laughs> Pool rules. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm. I'm assuming I'm going from the capital in, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting everything first. Building there to go into. Oh, this is back there. Ooh. A little cart. 
Gina, hop in. I'll pull you around. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If there's anything left in these buildings. There's always something left behind. <gasps> left behind. That's the DLC for the first game. Roll credits. Yeah. Kinnard Esquire. Brains 80, Brawn 40, Society of Champions. A brilliant lawyer with a stringent adherence to the rule of law. Kinnard, or Georgie to her friends, is best known defense lawyer for heroes who are accused of negligence, excessive force, destruction of property, and reckless endangerment. Her notoriety has brought her a fair share of unwanted attention, but between her black belt in Aikido and having the entire Society of Champions on speed dial, most are wise enough to let her pursue justice undisturbed. I don't know, a lawyer being a hero? <sighs> Seems unlikely. <laughs> Ooh, one part. Nice. Take that toaster with you as well. Wait, there has to be coffee here somewhere. There's yeah, there it is. And coffee everywhere else. Thanks. I like collecting these cards. Probably a bit more than I should. But I like the, the stories behind them. Oh, outdoor grills. Is this a communal area with outdoor grills? Fun! I mean, you can't do that now. But... I mean, in the real world, not in the game. In the game, there's far more dangerous things to be worried about. There's an infection and people who want to shoot you on sight and blow up your horse. Yeah, they killed my fucking horse! I'm gonna miss Ireland. What are we going to do without Ireland? They just killed Ireland. All of it. Nice. Wait, I'm full on rags? Oh, let's make a Molotov then. Don't light it, Ellie! I keep feeling like it's just going to blow up in my hand. Right, some supplements. It's basically just drugs, Dina. Don't do them. Dina, fresh blood. I'm ready. Oh shit. Hello? I mean. No, God. Ah, oh, I broke my machete. I broke my machete in your face. Got him? Yeah. Heart's racing. Same. F's for my machete. Damn, that was I fucking love that thing. Could have thrown a bottle and then stabbed him, but does my brain kick in? <laughs> no. Stupid, why would it? Hell yeah. Couldn't I upgrade my stuff last time? Like make a spike baseball bat and shit? I don't know if we can do that again. Uh, are we gonna find a note now from this person saying how scared they were that they got infected and they were gonna hold out for as long as they could and make me feel all sad about killing them? Yep, here it is. <laughs> I'm bit. Tina's dead. We've been getting drunk on our patrols for a while. This is such a shit post. No infected. No scars, far from everything. Her brother makes moonshine, so we drink and talk. Went that way for months. We were stumbling around the grocery store when these runners surprised us. Let her brother know I'm sorry. I tried to save her. Tell my mom I love her, Chevy. I'm sorry, Chevy, but you came at me. And you're basically already dead. Now you're wiping your own ass. All right, let's go, Dina. I think Capital Inn is where we're supposed to go. Bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and Tommy when they had the chance? I don't know. It seems reckless. 
Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. What? Could be that you just weren't who they were looking for. So they let you go. Yeah, well, they did beat the shit out of us. The one guy Jordan kicked my face in. Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't finish it the- It doesn't matter. They fucked up. They did. She has a point, though. Hopefully you actually listen to her at some point when this is getting a little out of control. What was the name of the girl in the note? The one in the TV station? Leah. Leah. Was she the one... Uh, was she the one with the braid? No. Only thing I remember about her was the sound of her crying over that sadistic fuck's face when I sliced him open. So, how do you want to handle her? I know what she knows. Find out where the others are, go from there. You gonna ask her why they did it? Yeah. Any of this jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past? Mm. Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? Hi. He wasn't, um, he wasn't very big on sharing. I wonder what Tommy's making of all this. You probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. Hmm. I feel like Tommy probably knows who these people are. He probably recognizes some of them. Uh, that door was closed, but there's a window right here. No, oh, thought that was a brain. What do you call those things? A loofah? Is that what they're called? The things that you wash yourself with? Yes! Trading gear. Rockefeller. Oh, he'll Rockefeller for sure. These names are great! Uh, real name Norman Stryker. Brawn. A hundred. Real estate. Wait, are you a villain? Neutral hero. Real estate and construction magnate. Norman Stryker's crowning achievement was that was the Spark headquarters, both the part visible to the world and the massive subterranean laboratory complex. But when he walked in on a secret experiment, Laurent tried to dispose of him in a quarry explosion. When the Society of, Society of Champions couldn't pull Stryker out of the rocks, Dr. Stem made the- we haven't seen Dr. Stem yet, have we? Made the rocks a part of Stryker. Now covered head to toe in rock armor, Rockefeller aims to tear the Spark headquarters down brick by brick, and he knows the place better than anyone. That's so cool. That's fun. Uh, I don't know which one... Oh, maybe actually over there is where we're going. I'm so cautious about not going through a door again that's gonna... Uh, disable me from getting more supplies. Damn, this place is boarded up good. Does it look like a place I'm supposed to go? Probably. But I think it leads out over here anyway. Huh, none of this was useful. Only those two rooms. What are you doing with that? Don't know yet. <laughs> I'm dragging it over to this. Because I think we're going to have to climb up there. Oh, I thought there was a way out over there. I'll be back in a sec. I'll keep watch. Please do. Don't let any damn motherfuckers come after me. Wait, I'm full on rags again? Viv, we were robbed last night. It was Jimmy. I hope he acted alone. If you guys are in a rough spot, you can talk to me. I care for you and your son. Now more than ever, we need to be looking out for each other. There are enough criminals running this city. Add a little salt and some water to these, and it almost tastes like the real thing. It's not much, but hopefully it'll help 
get you to the next drop off, at least. Roll. Hmm. Sick room. I like it a lot. Dude, look at that bike. Should so get a bike. Now that Ireland's dead. I don't think we both fit on it though. Ooh, bombs! What the fuck is this? Some kind of bomb? Trap mines. Fuck yeah, they have <laughs> mouse traps on them. Nice craftsmanship. Nice. Fuck yeah. Oh, totally make some of these over the other ones. Deploys in place and detonates on enemy proximity. Fuck yes. Oh yeah, here we go. Melee upgrade. Yes. Oh, maybe that's what it was. It wasn't to repair my thing. It was that I couldn't upgrade the machete. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Ta tape a scissors to a baseball bat. That's pretty damn effective and pretty easy to do. Man, I cannot wait to get to an upgrade station again. How many supplements do I have? 46. Yes! I can get these. Increase your efficiency at crafting smoke bombs, producing more from the same resources. Fuck yeah, that's, that's where I need to be. Nice, getting a lot of good upgrades. Well, I guess it helps that I'm being extra vigilant with my searching. That's why it's really important. So then I can, um, I can take dudes out way more efficiently later. Hup. Is it worth it? Yes. Yeah. Pretty good haul. <sighs> Do I have to bring this over here? Climb this? Is that what you're telling me? Dina? Dina, a little help? Dina? Okay, thanks, Dina. <laughs> I can still kind of see the buildings. How do you want to go? Uh, let's see. I don't know, let's just explore around a little. Let's see what's going on. Okay, this is too much in that direction. There's a building back here that I want to look into. This is cool. There's some later sections in the first game that are this sort of semi-open and you can look around in, but this whole game so far has seemed to be... Fuck. Shit. How many? Two? You know how many times I got food poisoning? Or why do you think I took up fishing? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting hungry. Yeah? Stop talking about the food then. Yeah. Should I... Fuck, I fuck. Awesome what? On me. Come on. Go. I'll watch your back. Fuck. Fuck. Quiet. Easy. Easy. Shut the fuck up. There we go. There we go. There we go. No oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. You saw me anyway. I got movement. Look at that! Ah, yep, 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 yep. Ow, ow. Where's he going? Mama! On the left! Heads up! Nice. Get him, Dina! Fuck him up! You got him? Nice one. Is that all of them? I don't think so. Coward. Oh. Oh, there's one up there? Fuck. Nice try. Ow. Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, God. I took half his face off! Ew! I don't think so. 
good. Shit. Yeah. I got. Oh. You recognize any of them? None. No, because they they weren't in a cutscene. So. Susie is huge, right? It's pretty massive. I thought when I pulled this guy out here that the other guy was going right. I sure hope not. Fucked up the whole thing. Let's see if there's any other things that I missed. Yeah. Because if I if I got him stealthily, then I could have got the other guy, and then everything would have been fine. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. I'm holding out my med kits for in case I find like a candy bar. And then I'll use that to get my health back rather than wasting med kits. Because the med kits. Oh, I want this outfit, Dina. You think I'd look cool in this? I want to suck your blood. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, it's cool. Whatever, Dina. <laughs> you never agree with me. Anything in here? Just Halloween stuff. Oh, stuff Igor. Looking. I'm not a fan. Why are you guys not a fan? This shit's cool. I think it's awesome looking. I love Halloween stuff. Although, yeah, maybe if you live in a world where horror is real and everybody's dying all around you constantly and the world's gone to shit, maybe horror stuff is not that cool. Just saying. Spaceship. Naughty Dog, space game, question mark? Okay, I, I assume I'm going that way. So let's not go that way yet. That's part of it as well. Man, so open. It makes it feel like there's so many different ways to go. I think I got everything back there though. I think it was just that centralized point. Yeah. Hmm. This feels like there's going to be more dudes up here. What does my map say, actually? Oh, I can't actually access the map anymore. That's interesting. Right, let's check this. Guys here? I guess they might have taken all their fuel from here. Oh, Dini, you got some change? Oh, I want to ride the Gilmore. It looks so fun. I'm astonished with how many areas in this game are. Ooh, coffee. Are just kind of out there like you can completely miss so many of them if you're interested in just the story aspect of things <laughs> oh that damaged my fucking bat damn it uh maybe i should uh shit shit oh shit Oh shit. Oh shit. Shut up. Can't take all of us. I can take you though! You oh fuck. You see anything? You alright over there? Omar? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, they're everywhere. Hey! Over here! Fuck! God damn it, man! Oh! You just got fucked! I don't have a bottle. Never mind, I do. Shut up. Okay, you're getting the bottle for sure. Oh, I, I pressed R2! I didn't need to throw it! Nice, nice. 
Oh, there's more. Dina got in my fucking way. <gasps> Dina, I love you, but come on, man. Okay, there was Keep another, it up! Another battle here. By the counter! Throw! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> ow, ow. Fine. Yikes. Dina, help! Thank you, but Jesus Christ, you got in my way. See any more? No. Alright, so Jesus. I need to press R2 way quicker. You were solid back there. Never seen you fight like that. How many guys did they send looking for you? Too many. Yeah, I'm a bit of a monster. You gotta keep up, Dina, if you wanna match my body count. Um... Yeah, I kept pressing R2, but I was in the middle of, like, getting stunned and shit, so it didn't... react quickly. I gotta be wary of that in the future, going forward. Yes. Yeah, candy bar. That's what I wanted. After I wasted a ton of med kits. I think I have plenty of supplies for more med kits though. One! Okay, well at least I have plenty of Molotovs. Maybe I should actually start using them. I need a workbench. I haven't seen one in ages. Since that place in the middle of the open area. So many like bits and bobs. Really thought there would be one in here. Ah! I knew it. it had to be. All right, what are we upgrading? Definitely the damage of this. Hell yeah! Conveniently blocking it. Cool. Did you just put something on the front of it that actually didn't go on the front of it? Did- Oh, we put a bigger barrel on it! I think. Uh, ooh, a scope? See, now I don't know what I should upgrade. <laughs> we have fire rate and capacity on that. That's not as big a deal as stability and recoil. Stability, fire rate... Maybe capacity on this. So we can, um... Oh, cool. Damn, that's awesome! Holy shit! That's dope! That's an actual upgrade! Uh... The damage on this one. Yeah... I think these are some good upgrades. Are you rifling the barrel? So like, putting a... Putting a screw, basically, in the barrel, so that when the bullet comes out, it's spinning and twisting, so that it goes straighter and farther and faster and all that good stuff. I think. Alright, cool. Good upgrades. I only have 14 of those. Okay. Yes, Dina, yes! So we have more damage now in the rifle, which I don't really ever get that much ammo for, and I can only hold three shots. But also more damage in the revolver. That's a big one. So I feel like, well, unless I'm missing, I'll just be wasting less ammo now with that. Instead of taking four shots, it'll hopefully take like one or two at times. Damn! Why didn't those guys come out when I broke the first... Uh, freezer thing? Oh. Good shout, Dina. Fuck. Fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Clicker. 
Okay, I hate how much sound you make. It, it, it keeps making me think that you found me. Oh god. Can I grab them from the front? I never know. Somebody in here though. Oh, next one. Any items? Could use one of the new bombs that I have, but I feel like that's a waste. Uh oh. Oh, this is all gonna go bad. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy does it. Easy does it here. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, even though it's not that hard, it's not that many enemies or anything like that, it's still fucking terrifying. I don't trust not being able to grab them from the front. I think I can, but... I feel like I tried that before and nothing happened. Or maybe I just got alerted that time. Let's just wait. We're not in any rush, Dina. There you go. Woo! Take that, popcorn head! Awesome. Yeah, we got a trading card out of it. Dr. Stem, there they are. Cool. 100 brains, 40 brawn. Society of Champions. Upal Roy, what a name. Losing both of her parents to cancer at a young age. Upal Roy threw herself into her science studies, determined to never let anyone experience the pain and loss she felt as a child. Now known as Dr. Stem, she collaborates with doctors and scientists around the world in life-saving and life-enhancing technologies. She also works with the Society of Champions to shut down Spark's more nefarious schemes with technology of her own. Her tenacity and refusal to accept defeat is both her biggest strength and her greatest source of torment. Awesome. There's another door back there I want to check out. Oh, just leads in here. Nice. These are cool buildings. Oh, yes, upgrade manual. Fuck yeah. The camouflage issue. <laughs> These WLF guys went up against the military yes. over a decade. Why are they still so amped? Yes. There can't be that many trespassers that come through here. I don't know. The city still looks like it's filled with supplies. I can't see why people would need to fight over it. Oh yes, the stealth branch is absolutely where I need to be. Fuck yeah. You can craft silencers now? I forgot that that was even a thing in these games. God, coffee. So much coffee. I just had coffee before starting my recording and I want more already. Fran, it's happening. Early Sunday morning. Keep your people off the streets, but careful what you say. If Isaac finds out I talked, I'm fucked. The whole thing should be quick. Not a lot of Fedra left in your neighborhood. As we clear neighborhoods, we're moving everyone to the base. People shouldn't freak. It's temporary. Help us keep track of good guys versus bad guys. Can't wait to sleep in the same bed with you again. No more sneaking notes in that stupid studio, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Dina, you want some of those good dirty beans? Want some dirty earth juice? I can get it for you. I know how. I know how to make it. I don't know how those machines work, but... Can't be that hard. Come on. It's the apocalypse. We've killed a lot of people and crafted med kits and shit. Surely we can learn how to work a coffee machine, Dina. What's with all the rainbows? See what you can find around here. Oh. Whoa, that's weird. So they don't even know what the pride flag is? First of all, cool to see one in the game. Ellie, look. Um, but also, yeah, they just come from a different world, I guess. 
It's us, right? <laughs> Sorority secrets. Is Helga ready to know the secrets of the coveted sorority? Strap yourselves in, folks. It's about to get sexy. For Helga, the most important part of college was pledging to Omega Theta Pi, Phi, whatever, just as her mother had 20 years earlier. It was going to open every door for her and introduce her to a world of men who could give her the glamorous life of her dreams. Helga had legs for days and a smile that twinkled and an ass that just wouldn't quit. Every fraternity man vied to take her out Friday nights, but none of them could fulfill her needs. And she came back to the house, still craving. Fortunately, there was her sisterhood. At the sorority house, Helga found not just satisfaction, but an education in the hands of her big sister, Beth. But what they were about to do would be illegal between sisters. She knew what a woman's body wanted better than any man. In the showers, cuddled up in a twin bed, the women discovered a world of pleasure. This is the door Helga never knew she needed opened. Hell yeah! Come on. Stay focused. Exi. You're right. Is there any more around? I want to read more of those. That was fun. All this stuff has women on it. Nope. Wait. Dudes. Two dudes. Dina. Supplies. No, Dina. Keep reading the gay erotic fan fiction. Fan fiction? It's not fan fiction. Keep reading the gay erotic fiction. I meant to say. Fiction and fan fiction just go together. Carl Banis and his massive panis. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? I feel like I got everything in there, right? Sorry, Dina. Good to see you. Dina, you wanna play some hoops? I got mad air. Mad ups. Damn, you're ice cold, baby. Oh, this is a bad idea. I am in a terrible spot right now. Alright, how are we dealing with this? Oh god, I was about to make a move for it. I'm doing it. I'm going. I'm going. I don't care. Oh, grass. Yes. Fuck! Stop turning around! What are you doing? Motherfucker! Dina, you get him. You don't want to do this. Yeah, Dina. Yeah, Dina. That's awesome. I love that they actually go and get them. Can I ammo? God damn, fucking ruthless. Not yet. We're getting to that point as well where games are starting to look. QZ is sworn. Never mind. We just need a minute to talk with her. Are you gonna make her talk? I have to. We're getting to that point where games are starting to look so good that the violence is starting to kind of change a little bit. I mean, violence is not bad in and of itself. I mean, don't take that out of context. You know what I mean? Like, if it's if it's contextualized and it's part of a story and it's part to like evoke and everything like it's it's a piece of art it's an entertainment product god look at that plastic bag katie perry would be proud but um because like movies and stuff have been so incredibly extremely violent for so long and games have been violent as well but we're starting to get those graphics where it's starting to just look so good that the violence starts to feel a little different. What you mean? Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't feel good. 
killing the people in the game. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's the way forward. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of goes with the story being like, are we doing the right thing? Are we following along and killing all these people for a good purpose? Or are we just as bad as they are now? You know? Oh, I'm full. Scope out this. Wee! Man, I can't believe this whole area is already empty soon. I still don't understand why the fuck we're falling back. We're not falling back. I really wanted to grab them and stealth kill them, but I really need more supplies or supplements. Oh fuck! There's infected here. I wonder if I could lure them to each other. Let's see. Think they'll fight each other? Come on! Can they even get to each other or are they blocked off? Oh shit. Oh shit. Run, Dina! God, I missed every shot. Oh lord. Did they see me? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And there's people over there. Oh god. Okay, well, good. Because I feel like I threw the thing, you went that way, then I went back, and suddenly you were all just at the door? Maybe you didn't see me, I just thought you did. Alright, so they can't get to each other, which fucking sucks. Come here. Shit. Get him, Dina. Get him, Dina. Yeah! That's so awesome! Teamwork! Push it, push it. Who's seeing me? Oh man, you see me from that far away, fucker? Anything in here? No. Alright, let's go deal with the infected. And then come back. Oh. Oh, I thought I had to break these. Whew. All right, I'm glad we reset because I, I always feel annoyed when I when there's a stealth section and I fuck it up. Also, there's a door right here. Right there. What? Oh, dickhead! Can't even see you guys on my listen mode. All right, I'll be ready. Oh, I'll be so ready. Don't you even worry about it, brah. Nailed him! Push in! No, don't do that. You wanna go as well? You wanna burn to death like your friend? Wouldn't do that, bro! Oh, right in the chest. Oh shit. Fuck. God, I suck at aiming with a controller, man. I mean, there is that sway as well, but I'm just all over the place. The infected didn't come after us yet. I'm gonna go back still, but... Feels like so 
Yep, 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 yep. He's still alive over there. Oh! Damn! Fucked him up! You good? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're asking Ellie. Cool. Yeah. I'm fine too, Dina. Me, Sean, Jacksepticeye. Uh, just in case you didn't know. I'm okay. <laughs> That was fun. Really want to get a scope on this thing next. Really zoom in, hone in on their faces. And then get stability for it. Because that that scenario really proved why the the rifle is so good. But again, you need to be you need to be really accurate with it, and I'm not the most accurate. With my thumbs. Oh, you guys just don't really show up until I come in here. Oh, balls. Kind of just want to Molotov both of you over there in that corner. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you gonna... Can I... Stealth kill. Stealth kill. Stealth kill. Yeah! Hi! 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 Oh, fuck. Ellie, I really wish you would kill some of them quicker. Can I get an upgrade to kill quicker? Yeah, Dina! Fucking get him! Dina, you're a legend. This combination of Dina and Ellie is so much better than Joel and Ellie, gameplay-wise. Because Ellie would, like, throw bricks every now and then and stun them or something, but... I don't think she ever really killed people. Sergeant Frost. Cool. 40 and 80, Society of Champions. Once an ordinary soldier, Sergeant Edward Frost found himself the unwilling subject of a spark experiment. As they all are, apparently. <laughs> Infused with a mix of liquid nitrogen and radioactive material, he was left for dead by the scientists. But the cold put him in a state of suspended animation, allowing him to escape. Now, known to the world as Sergeant Frost, he uses his cryogenic powers to aid the Society of Champions and seek justice against Spark. Fuck yes! That's cool. I like that dude. Alright, so those. Okay, there's two more. Need to get me some supplies. Uh, let's swap for this, it has more hits in it. Alright, how we doing on stuff? Two med kits, two of these, nice, nice, and then upgrade this. Okay. I still only need three supplements to be able to do this. Stealth kills are faster and keep a lower profile. Oh, I need it! But it's all the way at the end. I feel like I should max out this. Could you imagine? Listen mode clarity is not that amazing. Listen mode distance would be better, but move faster while prone? Yes. Increase the durability of crafted silencers? Yes. Stealth kills are faster and keep a lower profile. Yes. All of that is amazing. I guess that's why it's the last tier. It's like more clarity is not super important, I wouldn't think. Oh shit, if I jump out over this, are you gonna hear me? I don't know. We good. We good. Come here, buddy. Come here. But having those stealth kills be faster and keep a lower profile is gonna help me out a lot, because I feel like that's what's getting me fucked over a lot of times lately. Are these like the stage one infected? And stage two then are the runners? Because these guys just don't really seem to know what's going on. They'll act up if I alert things, but otherwise they kind of just stand there. Alright, I think that's all of them in here. You see anything useful, Dina? Oops. Dina, you didn't see that, okay? It looked goofy. I don't know why I'm doing that. I can't see supplies with that. Candy bear. Nice. 
Bullets, nice. Okay, cool. Any supplements, though? Full health. Alright. I think this place is tapped, Dean, now we're gonna have to bounce out. Man, there's so much going on in this little area of the game. But where there are bad guys is usually the progress, so we'll go there after. The Bank of Meridian! Dean, I don't know if you know this, but uh, before the breakout and everything, I, uh, I'm a pretty big deal. I have 163 million dollars in the bank. I would take it out, but currency is useless now, so... So whatever, we're all just people, right, Dina? Sorry, I've been watching Lost a lot, and Hurley and that is worth 163 million dollars. Because he won the, the lottery. Using the numbers. Practice, hard work, focus. That is how you make an excellent Let's Play. And staying hydrated. Y'all staying hydrated? These are long episodes. You better be relaxing and taking care of yourself. Okay, I meant to get the other thing first, but yes, supplements. Fuck yeah. That is exactly what I need. Oh, there's a fourth. Boom, baby. Now I need 40. Okay. Can I make one? Yes. Only for my nine mil, though. Cool. The silencers come in real handy. From what I remember. But again, you need to have good aim. <laughs> from the first place. Coffee! Dirty beans! I love the coffee representation that's going on in this game. You know, coffee. The thing no one's ever heard of before. Oh, sorry! I knocked over your computer. I know how much those cost. Now what? Oh yeah, this guy's dead. We gotta get through this checkpoint wall. Those buildings are on the other side. Look around. There has to be a way over. Where did I kill them? Did the body disappear? Oh. That's lame. Stupid PS4. PS5, I want bodies everywhere, forever. It's not that important, but... I want to see if he had any items on him. Let's get up to the not. second floor. Hold on, Dina. I need to be a hoarder for a second. Orchards. What if these are all places in Seattle? Probably not, because you'd need permission to put them in the game. Or do you? I don't know, man. I'm a let's player, not a lawyer. Well, again, it is Seattle, too. And Seattle is the birthplace of Starbucks, so it would make a lot of sense. Have you ever gone to the original Starbucks in Seattle? Shit's expensive and it tastes the exact same. Not like top of the morning coffee, which tastes so much better. Because we pick only the best beans. And each one is kissed personally by yours truly. And that may be a lie, but it doesn't mean it's not true. Dina, maybe you could, like, look for supplies as well. It's like, go grab some stuff. That would be nice. But I guess that would be kind of... You'd end up with more supplies then. And it would ruin some of the balance of the game. Sweeping clear, Dina. Hell yeah. Did I just find a full med kit? Ooh, way more supplements. Yes! This is great. This is why it's good to scavenge. I got these little workbenches. I'm not trying to shoot you guys, I just want to look at your lovely pictures. Those are two very different pictures. Why would I take off my silencer? 
Uh, I guess if you get into a... I don't need a hint. I guess if you get into a major fight, you don't want to waste your silencer on enemies that are alerted already. That's actually kind of smart. Let's make sure everything is loaded up well. There's so many items and ammo and shit. It's awesome. Uh, let's... Let's max out our gear. Oh, I can't make a second one. I don't need a hint! I'm exploring! Jeepers. I'll probably turn that off in the options, but... I didn't see it. You think it's through the giant hole in the wall, Dina? Cuz I sure do. I think it's this way. Give me those boulets. All right, sick. We got a lot of items. A lot of good shit. Oh, yeah. Through the the turnstile. Okay. We got over. Now what? Now we go over again! Hey, Tina. Yeah. Double over. <laughs> Up you get. Give me your hand. Yes, sir. Ah, there it that is. That round building. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. God, I love all the nature that's just taking over this entire area. Would I don't think the trees would grow that tall that fast though, right? <laughs> um, I don't know where I am in Seattle right now. That building over there on the left, the very tippy top one, that looks kind of like a nipple. That looks familiar. Seattle also has this really weird upside down building. It might be that one right next to where her nose is right now. That one. Where her nose is touching. And it's... Look up Seattle... I don't know what the actual name of it is, but look up Seattle upside down building. It has a point at the bottom and it goes up and out and then it's just a block of a building. It's just a big giant cuboid building after that. But it's so weird to look at. When you stand under it, you're like... It's like a spin top. You feel like it's gonna fall over. Look at you. Shut up. I never would have let you do this by yourself. I'm glad I'm here too. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Clicker! ran into a trap. Bob! A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. <laughs> Dean is having none of that shit. Dean is like, the fuck? How will I see them, though? Are they obvious? Oh, yeah. All those tripwires. Hey! Over here! <laughs> nice. Okay, good. It's a wire. I thought it was just gonna be like the ones that I'm finding. Okay. Dee Dee, you okay? You got all your limbs still intact? Can I disarm them? Oh god, they're fucking claymores. Jesus. You know, don't walk through that. Don't be like Ellie from the first game. Where she would just run through shit willy nilly. It would just be like, okay, dodge under this, and then Ellie would just be like, la 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 la. Boom! But she doesn't take any damage, so it was fine. Can't kill a 14-year-old girl in a video game. People would have been mad. Everybody else, though, absolutely fine. <laughs> oh my god, look at that stain. <laughs> Jeez, it blew its legs off. As it would. It's an explosive. Explosivo. Right, let's let's try not walk into any more of them. 
I'm gonna make that a really big priority on my to-do list. Where's the convention center from here then? It's I think like we gotta get down this. somewhere in here. Because those that's the Weston Hotel over there. I think the convention center is somewhere here in this sort of zone where my FOV is right now. I wonder if it's in the game. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, I miss Ireland. She would have gotten us across this easily. We would have been so fast. But I guess it makes sense, because otherwise. I don't want to think about that right now. I don't want to think about that right now. Ooh, a tank. We should put some of those trip wires up around Jackson. <laughs> Might be a good way to deal with the hordes. Yep. Yeah, that'd be smart. Oops. We'll probably blow up some stragglers. They put up signs, warning them. Even they can't read. We'll make drawings. <laughs> you know, like a foot <sighs> tripping over a wire and then <laughs> big fire. Excellent. I bet I could build them. I like you. I want it in my room. <laughs> you guys are so fucking cute. Jules, trip wire to whole town. Bill! How did people get around? It was just him. Wait, he lived alone in an entire... Hey, look. Oh. Feel what her love. Uh, someone who wants us to feel her love. You think she's related to the wolves? I don't know. It's kind of fucking weird. A little bit. Oh, I wanted to hear the rest of the Bill story, though. Damn. Holy shit. These were all shot. Oh, horsey. This isn't our horse, is it? Hey, look. Tommy's. Oh. Ugh. Oh, they so branded the horses. <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's just that the smell. Ugh. All right. We must have taken off on foot. You good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. Is it though? Ellie wrote in her journal that Dina got sick on the way. Oh, you're not like infected or something, are you? Maybe I'm immune, but I'm a carrier. Um, is there anything else I wrote in my journal actually? No. Oh, Dina, please don't die. That, that would fucking suck. Just, I know this game is all about misery and the ending to the last game was like vague and bittersweet, but... Boston wasn't like this, right? Austin didn't have a full-blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. I don't see any wolves. No. It's not counter chickens, though. Um. God, this is really see fucking the TV pretty. Station? Yeah, Damn. it's that way. Uphill. That you could just take a picture of that without Ellie in it on its own, and some people would probably think it was real at first glance. Um, but I, I really hope nothing happens to Dina, man. I don't want, like, a super sad ending. More bodies. More shot bodies. Tommy definitely came this way. I bet he went through there. Probably. Damn. 
Tommy's an animal. Stop. Ooh. Tripwire. Jesus Christ. Oh, Good catch. They're all over. Probably for infected. Yeah, can I disarm him? One wrong step. Yeah. Let's be careful. Oh, Balzac. Okay. Um Let's go through here. If I hit this, is that going to explode that? I want to break the window and go through. Is that, is that a thing that's going to happen? Maybe I could just go through there, but... Let's test it, but if I blow up, famous last words. We're fine, everybody. Why can't I disarm them? Oh, be careful with that fucking pipe. Alright, I don't see any more. Dini, you want to learn how to punch? Punch this guy right in the face. These things are hard to punch, by the way. It's like pure rubber. They wobble though, and you can slap them real good, and it's fun. No more excuses. Kick the air, or the air will kick back. Oh. Think there's a workbench in here. I don't think I have enough, really, to get anything, though. Let's check. No. I only have 31. What do you want? Stability on this? I need 50... ...and 80. Jeez, I need 130 just for this thing. That's too much. Uh, just 100 more to go! Capacity would be nice, but it's not imperative right now. The shotgun I'm really only saving for clickers, like last minute. Um, stability in a shotgun is really not that necessary. You're really only using the shotgun when things are up close, so why would you need to be that stable? And the fire rate, maybe, yeah. Capacity and fire rate on this, sure, but you always try to have to pick your shots. So fire rate is kind of annoying with that, because you don't want to shoot too quickly. Stability on this I really need. How much do I need for that? Uh, 50. Jeez, I need 180 for the things I want. But I have been getting a lot of uh, pieces in some areas. And hopefully, I'm not missing shit. I feel like I've gotten most things so really far. This area covered. Feel her Probably love. don't cut through here much with all this. There's that silver lining. <laughs> Ooh, okay, can't go that way. Eh, I can. This tall grass is making me nervous. Yeah, same. Yeah, they're getting tricky to see. There's a ton of stuff there. Is that... Is there a secret in there that I need? And that's why it's all guarded off? Yeah, I fucking hate that these things are kind of hidden now. Maybe we should walk slower with this. Furniture sale! Oh, I love me a good couch. Anything in here? Card, yeah! Bizarre bra. 80 brains and 100 brawn? Jeez. Oh, I thought it said 90 there. Uh, young Bahar Raza once had a promising career in science, but her stint as Dr. Uckman's assistant ended in catastrophe. During one of Uckman's unauthorized experiments, she was doused with an early, dangerous form of his strength-giving formula, causing all of her muscles, even the ones in her face, to become impossibly swole. She got a muscular face? She gonna beat you up in her face? 
Ridiculously strong and a danger to everyone around her, she was shunned by society. On her own for years seeking revenge, she recently found a friend and ally in the aged and frail Naledi the Youthful, proving that opposites attract. Cool. Super strong. Hmm. M. Make sure you take the envelope to the bank before Monday AM. Made the combo the last six digits to Stacy's phone number. Figured that'd be easy for you to remember. Heh <laughs> heh. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six five 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 oh one. Let's get some supplies, motherfucker. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gonna be worth it though. Sixty-five, fifty-five, oh one. Uh, yep. Yep. Nope. Okay. Maybe I'm dumb. Hold on, let me grab this stuff first before I check the note. Um The last six oh there's numbers missing. Oh so there's two digits missing? One, two, three, one. Yeah. Has to be ten numbers. So wait, how am I supposed to find that then? Um so fifty-five oh one something. Uh wait, whose number? Uh, Stacy's phone number. Okay. Maybe Stacy's phone number is listed somewhere else. Ah, there it is. 550133. As soon as I saw the bathroom, I was like, oh, it's gonna be one of those. Uh, wait, 550133. Nice. Oh shit. Oh. I'm already full of med kits though. And full of shotgun ammo? What? That's max my shotgun gets? I guess I need to use my shotgun more. Damn, I'm full of so many supplies. And these are all maxed. I mean, again, I am playing on uh, moderate, so things aren't that difficult right now. Because moderate's like, I'm, I'm mainly playing this for the story. The harder modes are when I go back on my second playthrough on my own in my spare time and really start like finessing my playstyle, but here for Let's Play, it's like, it's challenging enough. It keeps the tensions high, but it's not impossible that it gets annoying. Oh shit. Can I go around? Oh, They make me so nervous. I can probably climb something over here. Oh, climb over the truck. Yeah! Nice. Huh! 